All right, let's go through this shit. Hello, welcome everybody. Today I'm gonna be ranking the Gorillaz discography from six to one. I'm just gonna be ranking their studio albums. And I'm not gonna really be touching any compilation albums or the B sides. I'm just gonna focus on the six main studio albums. And I'm gonna start off with the Fall. The Fall to me is can easily grab this spot simply because it just kind of seemed like everything that you normally love about a Gorillaz record just wasn't here. Normally, when you hear a Gorillaz album, you listen to it throughout and you don't fully love it at first, but with each listen and it kind of grows on you. With The Fall, you kind of listen to this shit, and at first you find a few moments and glimpses that you like, but once you continue to revisit this album, it just seems like the flaws just stick out more, and you end up liking this album less and less, which is the complete opposite of a regular Gorillaz record. This album was actually entirely made on an iPad, and you know, I've never made music on an iPad, but just listening to this shit, it just kind of seems like a lot of the usual ventures that the Gorillaz usually go through when blending different genres genres just wasn't here that it seemed kind of restricted the track the joplin spider is just so overly produced the bass on this thing is just so obnoxious it just really made it a pain to constantly revisit this album and give it more chances just because the production throughout this thing just really wasn't fully layered and mixed as properly as, as i think damon would have liked to the track bobby and phoenix contains a great performance from bobby warmack who usually comes through pretty much every single time he's on a gorillas record but the guitar riff here just seems so messy and it seems so poorly made i just feel like this track was just so overly carried by the feature here and like the vocal performance and i'm not interested at all in the instrumental if you listen to the first six tracks it would have probably made for a decent ep to add to the overall gorillas collection i really like revolving doors and just comparing depression to just a constant revolving door that it doesn't really matter what break you get or what positive things happen it's just always going to come back to you i thought that was very interesting i love the eeriness to shy town i thought that was one of the more standout performances in terms of the production. I think Little Pink Plastic Bags is actually a really catchy record. I love the simple song structure to this and just the overall subject matter of people just going on about their lives. Not really caring about the events that just happen to them, just kind of caring about going on throughout your day and having no real purpose. I thought was really interesting. But after this song, it just kind of seems like the quality just drops off so much. And the quality even before that wasn't at a top tier level. It was just pretty good. The song The Speak of Mountains has very weird vocals and synths and has this sort of instrument that seems to be slowly building up but there feels to be no real climax of the song and even when i feel like it carries on to the next track in aspen forest there isn't really anything there that i was waiting for or there was a build-up to it just kind of seemed like another bland and unnecessary track and that's just kind of the feeling you get here it definitely isn't an overall shit album it is interesting to hear all the raw thoughts and sketches and rough drafts of what damon alborn likes to do when he's recording music i just feel like it's been done so much better and all of his other projects. So at number five, I got Humans, which could easily be labeled as the most ambitious Gorillaz album. I think this is the album where the most genres are trying to be fulfilled when it comes to electronic music, alternative music, hip hop, and even sort of elements of rock music. It's all here. I just don't think it overall came together as well as I would have personally liked to. The album starts off very well with Ascension and Vince Staples just kills his performance here. I feel like all the different types of beats that Vince Staples Staples is capable of rapping over is what makes him such a young prodigy at this point in the rap game and he just does it over here again he brings social political themes forward which is something that we should all be used to now listening to a gorillas record i love the track moments i think the de la soul feature was so killer and again there's so many features in this thing and normally damon just kills his features and picks his features very fucking well and he did it again here the fact that de la soul can make a bang like this it truly made out for a very good and fun gorillas track and again with there being so many features i feel like the low moments in this record are when damon isn't capable of meshing the features and the beat selections and all these different genres together as well as he would have liked in the track submission while it isn't really a bad track you hear that beat and you know that danny brown is set to be featured and you're like how the fuck is this gonna work and it doesn't danny brown does not match this production at all and it's funny because the danny brown performance and feature isn't overall bad it's just such a a terrible beat to choose him on that the song just ended up not working at all i thought the track with dram and andromeda was very catchy and very well put together but i feel like after this track again the quality just drops off and there's so little i come back to past track 10 in this album the track busted in blue just seems so lifeless and bland i felt like subtle synths that damon uses are made better when there's some sort of climax and grand gesture to the overall track but it's just 
that's missing. It just kind of seems to stay on the same level throughout. And there doesn't really seem to be an exceptional performance that I'm waiting for here. It just kind of seems to stay on the same level and it's just super uninteresting. Now for Sex Murder Party, every single thing about this track from the song structure to the hook to the beat just did not need to be here. This sounds like such fucking filler. And it's funny because so much of what I love about Gorillaz is the fact that all these different genres are put together and it almost sounds like it shouldn't work, but somehow Damon makes it work. And it's funny that I still think this is one of his most ambitious records, but still there's tracks like Sex Murder Party and We Got the Power as the Closer that just seems so un -gorillas. It kind of makes it seem like Damon was forced to make a song like this because there's just no real emphasis behind them. And what I love most about the Gorillas is the fact that they challenge your ear. And when you're not really challenging me when I feel like I need to come back to these tracks and it just seems kind of obnoxious and a chore to listen to, that's when I know it's a Gorillas album that I'm not really fully in love with. The track Ticker Tape had a lot of great subject matter. I love the fact that Damon's speaking on how fast technology is moving and if humans are even ready for how advanced we're becoming. But I also feel like the vocal performance lacked a little bit of charisma. I think the hook was very catchy and I still think the song overall works, but just like a lot of tracks here, I feel like there's that little bit of, there's a little element that is just missing that could make this album great. I feel like a lot of the ideas here are great, but the overall execution just wasn't there for humans. So at number four, I have the Now Now, which is by no means a bad album at all, but there also isn't anything here that I'm, that I'm dying to go back to. So the replay value, at least to me here, it just isn't that high. The album starts off with humility and it just perfectly introduces the album. It really is just a lot of poppy and just summer jams. And I feel like at the right moment, you can definitely just play this album and just not touch it at all and just listen to it all the way through. But I feel like that experience isn't all the way here. I like humility. I like the fact that it's a very poppy and sort of happy sounding beat but when you read into the lyrics he's talking about isolation and it actually turns out to be a pretty sad track but again just sonically it just doesn't grab me as much as something in plastic beach or in demon days would have grabbed me i love the track trans i really like the subject matter dealing with substance abuse and sort of seeing yourself turn into the worst version of yourself and i feel like this is the difference between an album like this and the fall i feel like the beat meshes so well with demon's vocals and here's the layering and very well mixing that you didn't see in the fall at all i really love the track hollywood and just speaking on the fact that hollywood can be this great place that gives you all these opportunities but it can also also just completely ruin your life so the way you approach hollywood has to be very strategic and careful i thought was really fucking dope and i thought the features here were really good even though i don't really like snoop dogg and a lot of gorillas tracks i think he did a very well job and the song overall was really fucking good and one of the highlights here the track kansas easily has one of the catchiest and best hooks throughout the lp i think it was a very uplifting track something that we're not too used to with damon he's speaking on feeling depressed and just trying to find a new venture trying to find the sort of being very optimistic finding the the positive side of every situation i thought that was a very needed track i think especially in this album and the fact that it just sounds a lot happier more poppy and more uplifting i think a track like this just fit the overall concept and sequencing on the album very well I really love the simple acoustics in Idaho and, the, and we hear Damon speak on a lot of environmental issues that Idaho is going through as well as just the loneliness that he's feeling just touring the world and not being able to stay in one place a lot. Just typical melancholy shit that we hear from Damon. Again, the whole instrumental aspect I have with Gorillaz, the track Lake Zurich just wasn't at all that interesting to me. And it's funny because Damon makes such great instrumentals, but I feel like when it's just an instrumental track alone, he just doesn't excel. So there really isn't anything here that is just straight up bad and i do think the now now served as a good redeem for damon just following humans and the fact that this album is just different from anything else that's made i think is what makes it unique but i also don't think there's anything here that is a career highlight there's no top tier gorilla tracks here but there really doesn't need to be i feel like it's different enough that the album definitely serves its purpose and i do think the now now was a good album there just really isn't any gorillas top tier material here so at number three i have demon days and yeah this may shock a lot of people